Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. You know, we have an absolutely wonderful show this evening. Uh, we have actually entrepreneur Larry Mitchell on the show. Give him a big hand, Larry Mitchell. <laughs> Grammy winner. And the reason why I'm personally so excited to have Larry on the show, many of you know that he's an amazing Grammy winner and a songwriter. And music is a lot like business. I deal with a lot of first time entrepreneurs and there's a lot of lessons we can learn from music uh, that really help us in our business life. You know, for instance, you've probably heard the term, play till your fingers bleed. You know, a lot of times in business, we have to go forward and keep playing in the game, uh, even enduring great pain and discomfort. The show must go on, right? Uh, a lot of times we experience bumps and bruises over the road. And you know, in music, you have to learn how to ace a gig, right? You have to know how to audition for a gig. And that's a lot like an interview. You have to know how to go out there on that one shot thing and land that job or that position. So I'm really excited to show. Uh, again, Grammy winner Larry Mitchell and also our beautiful co-host uh, Mary Kay is back with us. Give her a hand. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Amazing. Come experience Nolan's, savor award-winning steaks, Greek-style cuisine, fresh local seafood, and an extensive choice of wines. Whether you'd like to reserve the large private dining room, enjoy a meal on an outdoor deck, or rock the night away in our lounge, Nolan's now celebrating 25 years of exceeding your expectations for casual fine dining, live entertainment, and dancing nightly. When visiting Gulf Shores, Alabama, make sure to visit the Gulf Coast Zoo, home of the little zoo that could from Animal Planet. Get up close in our petting zoo. Enjoy our unique animal encounters. More than 300 monkeys, bears, reptiles, big cats, parrots, and more call a Gulf Coast home. Come on, go wild at the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Welcome. I'm here with the lovely Mary Kay, and uh, she's back co-hosting with us. How's the family, Mary? They are doing very well. You and Tommy do anything over the weekend interesting? You know, we have little kids. <laughs> right, I get that. We don't do a ton of stuff that, you know, involves just the two of us, but yeah. how about you and Penny? What you do? Well, we hung out a little bit at the house. We had family over, and I took, I took Julian fishing in the backyard. We have a canal kind of running to the back, and uh, we were catching these catfish, and he, I mean, he caught legitimately a bigger fish than I did, but I've been stung over the years by catfish, and it's like a bee sting. It's not a... So you're afraid of them? Well, I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of any fish. <laughs> But uh, I got stung. I didn't really even know that they had saltwater catfish. And he pulled this little bitty one up, and that thing got me so bad, I, I couldn't even pull it out. It was just, and they say that the venom from a saltwater catfish is so excruciating. And it wasn't normal. And I actually had to go Google online, like, what is happening? My whole arm was on fire and had to soak it under hot water, and I still have a, a problem. I was pulling and pulling, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't disconnect. I don't know what the story Did was. Did you Google but while the fish was still there? Yeah, it's, it's a whole bloody <laughs> story. Oh, but man. Uh, anyways, I survived. And uh, other than a sore hand, I'm doing, I'm doing great. But uh, other than that, we stuck around the house. Yeah. And uh, I'm, a, a, you know, I'm excited to have you co-host tonight because I know that you do a lot in the entertainment field. You give singing lessons. and. Performance um, lessons, more all so kinds, than acting, singing, but acting and modeling and performance. Yeah, yes. and I, as you know, I'm a big music enthusiast. I know that your husband Tommy does a lot with in music, and we talked about in my other life I would have been Bono. Yeah, I, 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 in my dream, I, I'm, I'm a just <laughs> rock star, and I, I missed my calling. I don't think I was probably good enough, but um, but tonight on the show we do have somebody that's good enough. And uh, our guest tonight, Larry Mitchell, he's an amazing guy. I actually got to hear him play uh, the other night, and uh, it, was, it was actually 
uh, phenomenal. So let's give a warm welcome to our guest, uh, Larry Mitchell. Welcome, my friend. <clears throat> Already I'm irritated with you because you got a lot more hooting and hollering than I did. I guess if you win a Grammy, that they automatically just throw out that kind of reward. I think so it's a hat. That's my next check is win a Grammy, buy a cowboy hat. Yes. Because uh, I, need, I need that kind of a welcome. But how are you, my friend? I'm good. good to see you. I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Well, look, I know we haven't known each other very long. A lot of people were saying, hey, I, I was already saying Lair earlier. I don't know if you caught that, but I was like, hey, Lair. Like we've known each other forever, but we've been getting to know each other. And I had fun. the privilege, uh, a mutual friend had a get together a few days ago and heard you guys play. And uh, I was actually blown away. That and was a nice party. It was, it was, was quaint nice. and it was nice. It was a, a great house. And uh, so it was, it was really good. come and sang with us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Last time. Well, we, we, we didn't tell her about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she did, I just didn't come. That's true, I know. <laughs> But we, we all have kids, and so getting a sitter is, is tougher than it seems. But uh, anyways, we really enjoyed it. We, we were dying to have you on the show, and we appreciate you clearing up your schedule from out there playing to, to stop by with us. Sure. So um, Now, uh, those of the viewers that, that don't know us in, in this area, or that don't know you, um, where are you from? I was born in Brooklyn, and uh, raised in uh, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. And uh, my family is from Alabama. And so that's how I got I'm here, back here now. Yep. So my mom, my, my mother's generation moved in the 60s to New York and then started moving and had my generation and started moving back in uh, the 90s and the 2000s. I got and you. my generation started moving back to take, help take care of our sure. family. Well, family is important. I, I'm Very from much. the Los Angeles area. My mother moved to the Midwest and my family started migrating there. And so I eventually, met your mom. yeah, you did and meet her briefly. Woman. And uh, we actually moved to the Midwest. But people would say, like, what are you doing? In, in, in the Midwest, or I'm sure you get that now, or like, why are you in Alabama? But hey, family's family. Why are you family. anywhere? That's I right. mean, you know, every place has its, its charm. Well, and I think, too, it used to be, you know, in the entertainment field, it's probably L.A., New York, that's where you got to be. But a lot of things have helped in technology-wise that you don't have to have the big, giant studios anymore, the right. big fixed overhead. You can, pretty, you can be pretty mobile and get I, what you need done. I do sessions with people in Alabama. You know, yeah. but it's through the internet and stuff. Yeah. And we were talking a little bit earlier. Um, I produce an engineer and I work for different people. And uh, in 2000, I was working for these guys who had some, uh, some pretty big hits. And they have a team of people. And um, they rented a studio in Manhattan for a year that had a huge <coughs> SSL right. board and, and uh, grand piano. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a studio. You walked in and looked at a studio. And that was but these primarily- These guys are making money. <laughs> yeah, well they were actually, but yeah. we did all the production stuff in the Brownstone in Brooklyn. Yeah, right. And uh, it was in 2000, you couldn't tell a record company that you were making a record for $500,000 in a home studio. Yeah. They just didn't want to hear that. So yeah. whenever they Perceived wanted Perceived to, to the quality is not going to be up exactly. to- Exactly. So mm -hmm. whenever they wanted to hear something or stop by the studio, it was a mad rush. We'd call in someone, um, had a woman that was on call as a like an assistant that yeah. was basically there to turn the coffee pot on and order food yeah. and um and we played back sessions that we worked on in the brownstone in 2001 kind of after 9 11 ish area and the technology changed those same record companies were like can't you why do you need five hundred thousand dollars to make this record can't you make it for 50 grand yeah a, a, in, in, a, in a home time. studio yeah it was just uh, everything shifted well I, you know in the in the business world that happens all the time too a friend of mine has these virtual offices are really hot now where you can get this amazing office in a 10-story high-rise yep. with the you know for 250 dollars a month and they give you like 10 hours a month to use the boardroom and guys are making multi-million dollars out of their home office but you, when you're trying to court a vc or you're trying to you know create other kind of yeah. deals that are big you can't take them to your house so we gotta take them to these offices yeah. i think the lifestyle works for some people it's great to work at home yeah. other people need that challenge of getting they're not out disciplined and enough. yeah yeah and i think if you're if you, any business you do um if you're working from home you still have to get up every day as if you're, right. you're doing a, a job outside of the home and, and get you kind of well and why pay all the fixed overhead you know if you really only need it for meetings and you can get out there with technology today as well you can do so much from a Mac computer. It's Absolutely. phenomenal. You have a home studio too, right? We yeah. do. Yeah. Yes, very much so. Yeah. We do a lot of production in there and just in a little room, you know? 
Well, I know your husband's kind of transferred the garage into like a huge first class studio, but yeah, the technology's yes, yes. allowed us to do so much. Right. But uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, I want to talk to you a little bit about what you're doing now at Musical.ly and talk a little bit about the business uh, of music as well. Uh, more when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Come experience Nolan's. Savor award-winning steaks, Greek-style cuisine, fresh local seafood, and an extensive choice of wines. Whether you'd like to reserve the large private dining room, enjoy a meal on an outdoor deck, or rock the night away in our lounge, Nolan's, now celebrating 25 years of exceeding your expectations for casual fine dining, live entertainment, and dancing nightly. today offers incredible opportunities, low prices and extremely low interest rates. Hi, I'm Amy Norris from Amy Sells the Beach. Right now there are opportunities in all areas. Our team can help you put your money to work finding your dream or investment property. And if you're looking to sell, no one can give you better exposure to buyers and make your property stand out. Experience matters when looking for opportunity. I'm Amy Norris. See why we're number one at amysellsthebeach.com. I need to have you come more often because the crowd tonight, knowing that you were here, they're, they're alive. Sometimes this late hour, people, I actually throw pencils to try to wake people up. I just think you need like, a cowboy hat. I, a cowboy That's hat. All. Be prepared. My next episode, I will pull out whatever it takes, my man. Now, we talked that you're from uh, Brooklyn, and I, I read online that you originally started off playing the drums, and then about nine years old or so, you transitioned into guitar. What, what gives for Interesting the transition? Interesting way to look at that. Um, I wanted to play drums, and I always wanted to play everything. I used to strum the uh, broom oh, when yeah. I was a kid to Elvis songs. Air guitar. Air guitar. <laughs> uh, but I wanted a drum set. I had a toy drum set earlier, and um, I lived in a third-story apartment in Brooklyn, and I was playing a drum kit, and my mom wanted to watch TV. Now, my mom is very supportive. I mean, she's always told me I can do any, you can do anything you want to do as long as you do it. Yeah. Uh, but that particular night, she was trying to watch TV, and she said, if you hit those drums one more time, they're going out the window. <laughs> and I'm enough sitting is around. enough. I support you. Yeah, I was, I was sitting around and kind of going, all right. <laughs> yeah, right. Hit the drum, and she opened the window and threw them in the backyard. Come on, she did it? She threw them out the third, oh third window. Gosh. I know somebody in the audience that would react that way. But anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you transitioned into guitar. And yes. um, when did you, uh, obviously, you've always had this love of music. I know you started playing drums very young. But when did you kind of realize, like, okay, this is more than just a passion. I, I, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Well, probably around 11, 12, um, there were three things I wanted to do. One was play, be a professional baseball player, the other one was a professional basketball player, and the other one was play music. Well, I had chronic asthma so, oh, yeah. <laughs> growing up, so the sports thing didn't work at all. Yeah. Um, I actually just started playing basketball again recently. Um, I was going to say, you have the height for the basketball. Well, Could have pulled it off. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhat. But, um, yeah, I, I, I can't, I couldn't, I don't think I could see anything else right about 12, 11, 12 years old. Yeah. And uh, I, I haven't done much of anything I, else either. I didn't tell you this when we were talking earlier, but recently I had an offer just for fun, playing around with some friends. They said, hey, man, we have this little band and we need a singer. And you want Let's to be it. our singer. And I, I, in a part of me is like a dream come true, something I wanted, but I'm not, I have a lot of fear for some reason. I don't have fear any fear in what? business, but I'm like, I can't get up in front of people and sing. Karaoke for me is, is a hard thing. Well, but uh, I don't, I might, maybe I'll get some it. lessons from you guys, yeah, then come see you, you, get the nod of approval, and, <laughs> and uh, that'll be that. Now, I know that uh, growing up, first of all, the other night we were trying to classify your sound. And somebody came to me and they said, is it blues or is it a little bit of rock and roll? But I kind of hear some New Orleans stuff in there. Uh, how would you quantify or how would you describe your guys' sound? Because it's very unique. 
Okay. Um, it's instrumental, guitar instrumental. Um, I somehow have uh, started saying that it's uh, guitar instrumental, instrumental with the elements of funk. Um, it's rock and uh, a little bit of lust. A little bit of lust. <laughs> you can hear lust. that little you couple of sprinkles it. of some you lust in there. A little bit of lust. Um, and who were you? Some of your inspirations uh, uh, growing up in the music. You know, growing up in Brooklyn and listening to my mom, my mom listened to country music and um, R&B and soul mm -hmm. music. And then my cousins all listened to the, whatever the current R&B and funk and, and stuff like that. And I hung out with people that listened to rock. So I like all kinds of music. I listen to Sting. I listen to Keith Urban, um, Brad Paisley. Uh, Morrissey. Uh, Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a um, personal thing. Keep going. Sorry. <laughs> we have to talk about New York then. Um, Peter Gabriel. I like modern music. I like uh, I like Mozart. So I like music, you know. And I played a lot. Of, I've toured with Tracy Chapman. I toured with Billy Squire. So yeah. right after each other, too. Completely opposite, you know. Well, artists. I, I, I tell you, Billy Squire ha is, has some of the best electric guitar and just yes the music is amazing but i actually am afraid to admit that i like them because the, the 70s jean jacket t-top camaro part of me okay. is like I, I really embrace billy square but you can't do it i can't pull up with like billy square rocking and i would be dated but i closet i, I like billy square. that's why ipods are great you just put them on yeah, you yeah. can be listening to anything if you want i'm listening to something cool mm -hmm. yeah well i'll tell you uh, i know you have collaborated with a lot of people and we mentioned at the uh uh, offset of the show that you actually did win a Grammy for producing. Yes. And you've actually been involved with a really wide variety of music, lots of different genres. Talk a little bit about some of the different types of music you've been involved with. Um, well, I, I started producing my records and then singer songwriter record artist. And then uh, somehow I moved to New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico in 2000, uh, 2002. I got there in 2001, but 2002 is when I officially moved there. And um, got involved in the Native, there's a huge Native American population there. And uh, there were seeds of it when I lived in San Diego and seeds of it when I moved in, to New York and Brooklyn in 2000. Um, but I grew up where Native Americans were past tense in the, in the school, in the school books and stuff like that. So when right, I get right. to Santa Fe, I'm like, wow, there's this there's real. Native American <laughs> yeah, stuff. Right. And in music. And um, so somehow I, I've become a, known as a Native American producer and I produce a lot and I play a lot of the instruments that I that I on the records I produce like like your husband does. Yeah well you certainly um, can play I'll tell you that and uh, you know I, I I know that right now you're playing with a few different guys Aston uh, Austin, Austin Solomon yes is that right and uh, Russ Ross Gardner. Gardner I didn't get a chance to talk with Ross much but those mm -hmm. guys are Russ. you picked up some or Russ those guys can really play yeah no it's great I was listening to him the other day and you you found a couple of diamonds in a rough they found me. Oh, did they? Uh, I, when I moved back to spend time with my mother in uh, November, I did a guitar clinic at a, a local music store in, in Auburn. And um, Russ introduced himself to me, and we jammed. And actually, we jammed with Austin as well. And uh, it turned out to be great. Tell us real quick, what's, what's next? Um, continuing to feel You've a pretty much tour. accomplished everything. You've toured. You've gotten the, the Grammy on the mantle. I don't know if you keep it on the mantle. You've, you've on my piano. On your piano. Yeah. And uh, so you you just continue. I know it's not about the money for you. You really love music, and you're out there. This is what um, I do. That's what you do. Yeah. I, I interviewed Dr. John uh, nice. recently, and he's up 70s, I think. And he said, oh, I'll die on stage. I mean, he just you know, loves it, you know? You know, uh, Les Paul was playing in his 90s, a weekly gig. If I make it to 90 and I have a weekly gig, um, I'd be very happy. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to hear you play, my man. I hear okay. you got a great song in store for us. You, along with uh, uh, Austin Solomon and uh, Russ Gardner, I'm going to get those names down. I think they're going to be huge. Uh, but uh, more when we come back with uh, Larry in a minute. You're going to want to hear this. Real estate today offers incredible opportunities, low prices, and extremely low interest rates. Hi, I'm Amy Norris from Amy Sells the Beach. Right now, there are opportunities in all areas. Our team can help you put your money to work finding your dream or investment property. And if you're looking to sell, no one can give you better exposure to buyers and make your property stand out. Experience matters when looking for opportunity. I'm Amy Norris. See why we're number one at amysellsthebeach.com. 
When visiting Gulf Shores, Alabama, make sure to visit the Gulf Coast Zoo, home of the little zoo that could from Animal Planet. Get up close in our petting zoo. Enjoy our unique animal encounters. More than 300 monkeys, bears, reptiles, big cats, parrots, and more call a Gulf Coast home. Come on, go wild at the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. Come experience Nolan's, savor award-winning steaks, Greek-style cuisine, fresh local seafood, and an extensive choice of wines. Whether you'd like to reserve the large private dining room, enjoy a meal on an outdoor deck, or rock the night away in our lounge, Nolan's, now celebrating 25 years of exceeding your expectations for casual fine dining, live entertainment, and dancing nightly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage Grammy winner Larry Mitchell, Russ Gardner, and Austin Solomon. <laughs>
Nice job. Nice job. Fantastic. Great job. All right, well, thank you very much, guys. Woo, they got me playing. That's our show tonight. Don't forget to get involved in your local community. Be forgiving of others. Good night, everybody.